Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Raven. I'm a nursing major and I just finished anatomy and physiology last semester with a 96%. So I figured I would just show you guys how I study, how I aced it. So it might help you guys out this semester. So to get started, this is my binder. So in the inside here, I keep it down to just three different tabs, three simple tabs. So the first one is my notes. So I take my notes right off of the lecture PowerPoints. So I just print them out and then when we go through the lecture, I just fill in notes with different colors on here just to keep myself from getting too distracted or anything. I switch up the colors because I have a very short attention span. So that's how I take my lecture notes. Um, and then I'll study right off of these notes. I can take these with me to work or whatever. I'll just pop them out of my binder and take them with me. And then the next section is my review section. So if we do any like in-class worksheets, this is what it would look like. We're just applying our knowledge of what we're learning in lecture to these questions so we can apply it to a heart attack, for example, as the first question, so we can understand the process of what is going on physiologically. And then the last section is lab because so anatomy and physiology always has a lecture in the lab usually. So lecture, I take this to lecture, I take my notes in here, but then lab is where I actually look at the models and the diagrams and make sure that I can label everything for the lab practicals because most of your grade in lecture is from your lecture exam and then most of your grade in lab is from your lab practicals which is on the models and slides and actual cadavers and stuff. Well, for a lab practical you would get a sheet that looks like this basically that shows you everything that's going to be on the practical which it looks like a lot on here it is a lot but you also need to know the functions for a lot of these as well. So you want to make sure that you go to lab and spend enough time looking at the actual models because the models look way different from the diagrams that you'll see in the book or in your lab packets and stuff. So you want to spend enough time on the models so when you get to the practical, you're not completely lost. The biggest struggle that I think I had was the practicals at first because I went through my whole lab packet, I made sure that I could label all, all the diagrams in there, I knew all of the diagrams of the books, I knew how to label them, and then once I got to the practical, it was on a model and it just looks so different when it's 3D, it's different colors, it doesn't look like the picture in your book. So we'll get a practical list and just go down the list and make sure that you can la label everything on a diagram, a model, you know, a function of it, and then you'll be able to do well on the practicals. The lecture exams are more on knowing the function, so more of the physiology part of class. So it's more than just memorizing, you have to actually know and understand the function so you can apply it. When you come home from lecture, look over your notes, just look at what you learned for that day so it's just in your head a little bit more. And then at the end of the week, I would go through all of my notes again and see what I learned through in class, look at my group sheets, all of the questions that we filled out on there and just made sure I understood it. And then if I had any gray areas, then I could ask questions. So this was just a brief overview of how I laid out my binder, how I study for anatomy and physiology, what I think is the most important. But if you guys have any more questions or if you want me to go over specific things like muscle contractions or anything that you're finding difficult, definitely just comment below and I can put something up for that because I would love to help you guys out. So have a great semester and hopefully this helped.